Good day, folks. Here we are again with another uh, book review, and this is Bubba, the Jewish redneck prepper. Uh, folks, I'd like to discuss with you today a magazine called The Backwoodsman. Now, particularly, I'm not a subscriber to The Backwoodsman, but this vi this magazine. I highly, highly recommend it to people that are into uh, survivalism, camping, fishing, hunting, uh, any kind of outdoor activity, especially those that are preppers and survivalists. Uh, this is an old magazine. Uh, you can get a subscription to this magazine directly from the publisher. Um, you can get... Uh, this uh, magazine from uh, different um, grocery stores. I got this particular one from uh, Kroger. And uh, I pick it up periodically. I don't always uh, get the same magazine every month. I, if I see a new um, magazine um, that I like reading, if I got every magazine that was on the rack that had to deal with prepping and surviving, I would spend anywhere between $100 to $200, you know, a month. But I'm like everybody else. I'm on a budget. <laughs> uh, so I have to spend my funds wisely. And uh, But this book, The Backwoodsman, uh, is uh, November the 1st. Um, last year. Uh, this magazine is uh, is full of all kinds of information. I want to cover this in short detail. Um, any other magazine that I get that I can think of, I'll post it on here to give you an example. This particular um, magazine I think it was five five dollars US I think it's gone up some. Let's see what this deal. Yeah, I think this was. Yeah, five dollars I paid for this particular magazine right here. But uh, in this edition, it was the September October of 2016. So you know I don't throw nothing away. It's in my collection of other magazines. It talks about hunting with uh, flint locks in wet weather. It talks about how to make a brown egg smoker. Killer bugs for fishing, the TC Hawking rifle, making the two piece PVC takedown bow, which is very good and exciting to watch being made. Ideas for backwoodsman pilot shelter. There you go again, folks, the pilot shelter. Simple to make and put together. So here on page three, we have some advertisement made by backwoodsman magazine. It says you can order the backwoods menu you give for one year it was twenty five dollars. Uh two year is forty eight dollars and three years is sixty seven dollars. Now this is um this particular magazine is a magazine that comes out like uh every two months. It's not on the every every day. So uh and I mean every month. So here it shows uh, features. It talks about notes from Charlie Jr. That's the editor. Letters they talk about. Backwoods. State of mind. Advice on searching for artifacts. How to make a cap and ball pistol loading stand. How to make a brown egg smoker. The TC Hawking rifle. Making grandma's pickled eggs. Making the two piece PVC takedown bow. The true origin of James Boy's big knife. Now I really enjoy. Uh, reading that. It also goes on page 36, a spare tire mount for your pickup, killer bugs for fishing, the army surplus canteen and cup set, gear review, ideas for backwoodsman's pilot shelter, creating the carving pack hatchet, backwoodsman's review, the versatile pocket shot, 
my Digger Greenhouse, What is the Suitcase, the World War One Military Survival Kit. I enjoy reading that. The Jaeger Bunny Recipe, Preparing for Financial Doom, Close Encounters of the Worst Kind. A Bone Antler Knife Project, my version of the Dollar Store Survival Kit. Hunting with flint locks and wet weather, make your own concrete blocks. Making the con coffee boiler. The terrain is your mount. Primitive arrow points. Adequately armed with an obsolete option. Classified in the woodsman's hammock. And let me tell you something, folks. Uh, this is notes from Charlie Jr. A lot of times I don't just read these magazines. I always go back through them and look at them. Here's some uh, a page is back, uh, Backwood State of Mind. It's where he built hobo camps. Uh, looking for artifacts. A little makeup on uh, archaeology. How to make a cap and ball pistol loading stand. There's a picture of the final product. Goes on to talk about how to make your own brown egg smoker and do it out of planters. Give you a little shot break down there. Talks about the Hawking rifle. It talks about uh getting more advertisement for the backwoodsman. And folks, I highly recommend this thing. It says making grandma's pickled eggs. If you like pickled eggs, it gives you a recipe down here, breakdown, and there's grandma's pickled recipe. Now, if you want to copy that without that, I'll give you a few seconds there so you can copy that. Uh, talks about the making of the two-piece Take down bow. Going over here. It gives the story of the true origin of James Bowie's big knife, which I thoroughly enjoyed this video. I mean, uh, reading. Talks about a spare tire mount for your pickup. Talks about killer bugs for fishing comes down here and it says the Army Surf Plus Canteen and Cup Set. Now folks, that's some helpful information. That right there, you can throw your little bug out kit and make a little bug out kit. Just add optional stuff with that. Comes with a stove, cooking canteen, a cup, a sport, a little lid in the bag. Get you some iodine pills and a uh, thermal blanket. Man, you got yourself a nice little setup there. There's a gear review. There we go. Talking about ideas for backwoodsman pilot huts. Different types of pilot sheds you can make, something if you want to live in, if you have to run. Creating the carving carving pack hatchet. Different types of hatchets and shapes. Here's a book on articles about backwoodsman reviews and here's one about the pocket shot which I is a nice little pocket comes with a fixture where you can shoot arrows with it
but I'm planning on doing a video where you can make make your own with a with a balloon and a bottle cap cap. This uh, article is uh, what's in your suitcase. And go on. It says well, here's an article about the breakdown of World War One military survival kit. It says article on preparing for financial doom. Article on close encounters of the worst kind. And folks, I've outlasted now. Uh, more than what I wanted to cover uh, in this magazine. If uh, you're ever in a grocery store like Walmart, I think Walmart also covers, I've seen it in there, I bought one from Walmart, or Kroger, or any of your big food chain stores, look for it in the book section. I highly recommend the Backwoodsman magazine. On a scale from 1 to 10, I would definitely give this a 9 or a 10 because it's so helpful for information. And uh, it's lightweight, and this is something that you can put in your backpack, two or three of them, and it won't be very much weight to help you in skills if you ever had to be in a bug-out situation. Okay, folks, well, I'm about to wound down here. Uh, if you enjoyed this uh, video, hit like, comment, both good or bad. And this is Bubba. Uh, asking you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Jewish Redneck Prepper. Well, until next time, folks, uh, hope you enjoy your journey. God bless and shalom.